Hi guys, Patty from CC and Patsy's Boutique. Doing a little quick video. Um, I was asked to show my steps and when I do my bottled art, um, every bottle is completely different. It just comes to me as I, I start doing it. So I don't have any set certain way. Um, so this one, this cute little bottle, um, I believe it had like a cute plunger top too with the metal holding it down. But I think it was like an oil vinegar type thing. I don't know. But anyways, um, I cleaned the bottle really well. Then went over it with a rub and alcohol. Make sure there was no leftover residue. And now what you see on here right now is I just took regular household plain white napkins. I tore them to get an organic. So I didn't have the straight edge. I did it so you know we have nice organic. Make sure it's one ply, not two ply. Um, they go on better and you don't have to worry about them lifting. And then I just use regular old Mod Podge. Um, I usually take my Mod Podge and add a little water to water it down just a little bit so it's not so thick. And then, like I said, I just went over the whole bottle with my tears of regular napkin. You can use napkin, tissue, toilet paper, paper towels, um, tissue paper, rice paper, whatever. If you're going for this look, I just did tears and wrapped it around the whole bottle. Some overlapping. Give This is my base to start my texture that I want for on this bottle. Sometimes I may paint the bottle instead of doing a decoupage type base. So um, in that case, that's the one I'm also working on. If you guys have been following my page. This was a Jack Daniels bottle. Um... And on this one, I actually painted it first, two coats chalk paint in white, and then put a matte sealer on it. And then I went over it with a crackle so I can get a nice crackle finish. And then I added my prints around the bottle, right over the crackle, so that some of that crackle comes right through the prints as well. And then I started building my layers with the finish. And can you see that? So you see the white underneath, you see the nice crackly yummy goodness. I used some copper, some um, mermaid's tail, um, rust, rusty patina, then some antique and gels. And then I also used a dry brush to pull it all back so I get the crackle, I get the white, I get it all in there, all that yummy goodness. And now I'm in the process of out of my molds. These molds happen to be by IOD. Um, and I'm just using an air dry clay. And I think I add some copper to them. I just glued this side on. I still got more to do on this one. And then on the top, can you see that? The crown I added. That is actually a napkin ring. I believe I found those on Amazon. Um, and it fit perfect on here, so I just glued that in place. So this isn't done yet, but we're getting there. Um, like I said, I'm working on my molds now. So that's one finish I did. Now the Kraken one you guys saw, again, this one I didn't use napkin or anything else. I just went with a painted effect. I did a nice rusty patina. Added my image of the Kraken. I added some molds on the back. Just look at this cute little cracking guy up here. And then we went with some ropes and everything to give it that little pirate, pirate effect. A pirate's life for me. Save the rum. But uh, that's another one. And then this one I did use. Um, what I used on this one first, after I cleaned the bottle, was rice paper, and I layered it up and did to build my layers, and it also gave it a very translucent look, so we went from there. I added just partial parts, as you can see, of some trimming, some mold trimming with it, um, air dry clay, and then we did some decoupage prints over that, so I wanted it to pop through, and then we just gave it a nice glimmer effect. Added some bougie stuff, gold cap, and that's it. So it's pretty easy. I mean, bottle art is what you feel. Have fun with them. There's no right or wrong way. Do you. Um, 
like I said, there's no shortage of of glassware when you're grocery shop and save those tomato jars, the jelly jars, your syrup jars, um, your wine jar bottles. Save, save all those and just practice and have fun. I'm not sure where I'm going with this one. I got my base layer on. I'm not sure what way I'm going to go with this yet. Um, so that will be fun. We'll probably add some more. I'll probably start doing some paint over this to get my base going. And then from there, I'll try to figure it out. I don't know if I'm going to do decoupage or if I'm just going to do some molds and trims. Who knows? We'll, we'll see where it goes. But uh, yeah, guys, it's really easy. There's no right or wrong to bottle art. So all I can say is to have fun. You can start off with a paint base. You can start off with doing like I, I just did on this one, tearing up some napkins that I got probably from the dollar store, just plain white napkins that you have on your dinner table. Just have fun with it. See what works. See what doesn't work. Creating is all about, you know, experimenting. So this is just a quick video to show you um, one of my processes. And uh, I hope you liked it. So happy Sunday. I am going to uh, probably go get some more rest because I haven't been feeling well. So I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Love yous. Bye. That was me blowing a kiss to you.